Hello everybody, I'm Brian Seth Hurst, the Happen Chance Staff. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Brian Seth Hurst. Welcome to the Happen Stand Chef. On this week's episode, we are making homemade flatbread, which you can use for pizza, you can use for regular flatbread, garlic flatbread, whatever you like. Be sure to like, subscribe, and feel free to comment below or issue a cooking challenge to me below. Don't make it too difficult. Homemade flatbread. It is so easy. We decided mm, last week to have flatbread pizza because I didn't do so well, to be honest, with the cauliflower crust after a few tries, still soggy. So I thought, well, why not try homemade flatbread? So as I do, look around, find different recipes, a little juice here, a little juice there. And now we're going to make homemade flatbread, and this is so easy. So you can make flatbread pizza. You can just have plain old flatbread. You can have a flatbread sandwich. You can make garlic flatbread to go with pasta if you happen to be making, well, I don't know, black garlic pasta. So let's get started. So two cups of flour. Just that easy. And then uh, I'm going to put all the measurements below because last time I mentioned measurements, I got confused and I don't want you to get confused. So I'm going to whisk the flour and the baking powder together. And then what I'm going to do, much like you would do in regular pasta, is I'm going to make a little well in the middle. And that's where I'm going to pour in, this is a tablespoon of pure maple syrup and a tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm going to pour that in. And then I'm going to pour in about three quarters of a cup of water. I'm just going to leave a little in there in case it's too wet. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is stir it around. And of course, when you make something for the first time, you learn from your mistakes. Sometimes, if you've watched previous things, you've seen the errors of my ways. Um, but maybe it's not the mistakes that count so much, but what you learn. Um, and so that's why, you know, I never let failure get in the way of future success. Baking and life, very zen. Cooking and life, very zen. I'm going to knead this for a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to cover this just with a dishcloth and I'm going to let it rest about 10 minutes. Our dough is rested 10 minutes, so now it's time to cut it in equal pieces. So I'm going to use a knife to do that and just do a little star thing here. One here, one here. Okay, then take this little piece here. I've heated up few tablespoons of olive oil right there. I'm going to press this down before I roll it out. For those of you who have watched before, you all know how great I am, or not, with a rolling pin. Everyone yeah. give Brian some confidence in his, <laughs> help him with some confidence. In my like, rolling, rolling ability. Pins. Give him a in like, my, in the, give him a like on the video. In my, uh, <laughs> my, okay, so I'm actually getting better at this. So I, you see I have that pan surface there and so I want to make this kind of fit that surface and I want to make it a bit even and hopefully my oil is hot enough I usually do this on the gas range where I do know how hot things get this is on the induction I mean you put your smoke points I think it's pretty hot yep drop it in here like this watch for the bubbles okay see those bubbles so now, I'm going to give it a little turn. I think the flip is the correct terminology. Flip, turn, flip. And let's just see what this looks like on this side. Perfect. Oops. And I broke it. But there you go. First piece done. It was pretty hot. Let me get this one in there. This is going to be a mini one, Andrew. I know you want those low carbs, so this one's for you. All right, it is time to test it. Andrew, come on in and test it. Yeah. What are, you, what are you doing? Some extra stuff. What are you doing? Here's what we're doing, cinnamon and sugar. This is the low-cal version? This is the cheat day version. Okay, well, I, <laughs> is it cheat day? Here, it is now. I'm just gonna, ooh, that's hot. Well, ooh. It's amazing. A new taste sensation? Mm-hmm. Okay, you have to give me a bite of that. All right, Andrew. Credit to you. Do I have to retitle the episode? 
cinnamon sugar flatbread. It actually is delicious. So easy recipe, see below. Be sure to like, comment, hit the bell if you want to know when the next episode is coming. Can't believe I'm talking with a mouthful. Join us next time on The Happenstance Chef. We'll see you then. Delicious.